Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole. I have hooded eyes and I tend to do a lot of hooded eyeshadow tutorials here on YouTube that are simple, informative, and achievable. I also do a lot of makeup reviews, kind of like what we're doing today. So I have a lot of makeup setting sprays sitting in front of me. Let me just show you some of them. This is just a handful of some of them. It's extremely hard to hold all of these, but there's a couple more sitting in front of me. So I wanted to just grab all of the setting sprays I've tried and give you guys as much information as possible. A lot of these are kind of the hot makeup setting sprays that a lot of people talk about here on YouTube like Morphe and MAC Fix Plus which isn't really a setting spray but we'll get into that and the Catrice setting spray and the Wet n Wild setting spray. I hope I didn't already say that and the Mario Badescu setting spray. So I wanted to just give you guys as much information as possible as far as the spray, the scent, the longevity of all of them. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and keep watching. All right, so these are in no particular order. I'm just gonna go in the order I grab them. So the first thing I have is the Catrice Long Lasting Prime and Fine Multi-Talent Fixing Spray. So it's another one of those basically preps the skin, refreshes the skin improves makeup wear so I have tried I have two of them right now because I thought I was buying the dewy one and then the regular one but I didn't grab the dewy one but I've gone through about three of the dewy setting sprays I will tell you I don't think that this or the dewy setting spray make your makeup last at all however I think that both of these I mean I'm talking to them like they're different things imagine I had the dewy setting spray in this hand I think both formulations do take down the powder look on your skin however the dewy formula I wish I had one to show you I just don't and they are like always sold out has a little bit of like shimmer in it and you have to like shake it up you see it kind of settling at the bottom of the bottle if you don't shake it up that does give your skin a little more of a dew this doesn't give your skin as much of a dew it moreover just takes the powder kind of look down but like I said it doesn't do anything for the longevity of your makeup from what I've seen and I've tried this a lot I mean I've been using this stuff for months now I will say the spray is so nice so it's nice to use as a refresher spray they are both pretty heavily perfumed it does go away after you spray it but if you are super sensitive to smells I would pass on both of these the regular one and the dewy they both have a pretty strong scent to them. I personally like it, but I prefer to use this as more of a refresher or a take the powder down. Now, if I had to grab between this and the dewy setting spray one, I would grab for more of the dewy setting spray just because I like that look, but this performs just as well if you don't like that dewy look. So that's the first one and I'll keep repurchasing this. I will, however, be grabbing the dewy one instead of the regular one in the future. I guess we'll go through the drugstore ones first. I think that kind of seems like a good idea so the next one is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose 3-in-1 Primer Water. So it's, again, a prep, set, and refresh spray. Here is the mist. Again, very fine mist, but comes out a lot harder than the Catrice. The Catrice you can kind of hold here. This one you want to hold pretty far back because it comes at you like that. Really hit my face. Whereas if I took the Catrice, that would barely hit my face. You know what I mean? Again, very, very heavily scented. I do not think that this makes my makeup last any longer, but I do like it as a refresher spray and a primer spray. Same thing with the Catrice. I'm not sure if I've mentioned that. I like that as a primer spray. I don't think that primer sprays, there's not one primer spray I've seen that really makes my foundation go on better. I don't think that it makes my foundation last longer. I think it's just nice to have a little bit of hydration and like slip when you go in with your foundation. So I don't use these all the time. I pretty much only use them if I'm doing a video. But yeah, this one is a lot more scented than the Catrice. I think it's very heavily rose scented. It also comes in cucumber and coconut. So I would steer very clear of this if you were even a little sensitive to scent because this one does last a little bit. It's definitely more prominent than the Catrice setting spray, but I don't think it makes your makeup last. And this is probably one of my, I'd say, least favorite of the bunch I'm talking about. I feel like they run out of product really fast. This little bottle has more than this bottle, so I don't know. I just feel like I run out of the Wet n Wild very, very fast most times. So 
next one we're gonna go into is a drugstore favorite of mine. It's the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This, I do feel like, actually makes your makeup last. It is a little scented. I love the spray on this, and I do love the scent. Let me show you the spray. Oh, got my face. That's the spray, so it's very fine. You don't have to hold it that far. It mists perfectly on your face. Even one mist, I feel like, hits nicely. It's not too powerful. Again, a little bit of a scent, but it does disappear. And I definitely see a difference with this when I apply it after all of my makeup is done. Again, it's a prime, correct, and set, so all three. I feel like they're all marketing themselves that way. Just because anything, I mean, you could spray water on your face, like the Evian water, and it would kind of take the powdery look down as like a refresher. And again, you could use like Evian in the beginning of your makeup. A lot of makeup artists were doing that before. These were so mass marketed just to kind of give your skin a little hydration before you go in with your products. So this one is definitely worth it. I like it better than the Catrice. I like it better than the Wet n Wild, even the Catrice Dewy. I prefer this. Now, this doesn't change the texture of my makeup so if I have a little bit of a dewy look going on this doesn't change that texture which I really like so obviously the Catrice dewy is going to make your skin look a little more dewy since it has some shimmer I don't find that the Catrice prime fine messes with the texture too much or the wet and wild rose doesn't mess with the texture either too much but I just I love this stuff I cannot wait to go get the full size I'm just about running out of the small so yeah I love this I'd highly recommend this above everything I've talked about so far okay so the next one is the Mario Badescu facial setting spray with aloe chamomile and lavender I have it in this little guy as well I think there's a little bit of urban decay all-nighter in here as well this is kind of my like travel guy and I kind of just fill it up with whatever uh, but right now it has a lot of this in it I can heavily smell this now Mario Badescu I feel like had a really big moment for a while with the rose one but then it started to kind of be mass marketed and people kind of started to go towards other things like the Catrice and the Milani so here's the spray on this it's definitely not my favorite and not as good as any of the three I've talked about. It's just a little too harsh for my liking. Definitely heavily scented with lavender. This would be nice to spray before going to bed. I didn't find I liked using this with my makeup. It didn't make my makeup last and it's not marketed that way. It's more marketed as a facial spray just to kind of spray whenever so I don't knock it for that. I just don't think it does anything for my beauty routine. I did have another one like this from Whole Foods, but it's I'll, I'll put a picture up of what it is. I think it's like $9.99, a lot bigger than this. And I think the ingredients are a little less than what's in, the, in this one. This has a pretty long list of ingredients, and I think the rose water that I'm thinking of only had rose water. So if you were going to go with one, I'd get that over this, just because this is a little more expensive because you're paying for that name brand as well, if that makes sense. So definitely not my favorite, and I don't find myself grabbing for this like at all anymore. However, if you did want something to just kind of refresh your makeup or refresh your face or kind of use during your skincare routine, this might be one that you enjoy if you really like lavender. All right, next up we have the Flower Seal the Day Hydrating Setting Spray. Now, I obviously can't see into this thing because it is a white package. It doesn't look like there's shimmer in it when I'm looking in it, but this has the best sprayer in the world. Look at this. It is the most fine. It's like slow motion when you spray it. Hopefully you guys can see that on camera. I want all of my setting sprays to apply like this. It's so fine. It's almost like the Morphe, which I'm going to talk about, continuous setting spray. Same kind of spray, but it's a push down instead of a continuous spray. The scent on this kind of reminds me of the Catrice a little bit. It's not as heavily scented though. You can 
smell it if you spray it and take like a big whiff in but it disappears pretty much right away after that I don't see a huge difference with the longevity of my makeup with this one now this is just called a setting spray used to refresh makeup so it is claiming to be a refresher but not a primer I'm sure you could use it as a primer but like I said I don't see a difference with how this makes my makeup last in any way but I really like the spray on this one I I'm gonna put my favorite setting spray which I'm going to talk about in a little bit in this when I run out of this but this is a nice one for refreshing because it's really not going to screw with any of your makeup like Going in to refresh with the Wet n Wild is a little harsh. It's not going to screw with your makeup, like move your makeup, but I think it's a little too harsh. I want to refresh my makeup with something that's a little finer. Sorry, both my cats are sitting by the camera and Theo's wheezing. So yeah, I like this one, but I don't think it makes a huge difference. Totally forgot to mention, I don't think it's extremely hydrating. I know they have one with a purple cap. I don't know what that claims to be. Maybe it's matte. I'll put a picture up and let you know what it is. But I just, I wonder what the difference would be if I would see a difference since I don't feel like this changes the texture. It doesn't make me look super glowy like the Catrice does. It just seems like kind of a regular setting spray to me. Okay, and that is it for the drugstore. I'm just trying to think if I've tried, I haven't. I haven't tried anything else from the drugstore. So that's pretty much it. So we're gonna get more into like the higher end ones. This one I guess technically isn't the more higher end, but maybe, I don't know. It's the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and I gotta say you guys, I like this. Like just the mister, it smells like hairspray, like a lot like hairspray to me, but again, right when you're done spraying that goes away I don't I'm gonna have makeup on for days after this but I don't think that it lingers in any way like the rose from wet n wild does but the, this is just such a smart way to package this not having to press down press down like get you know big drops of makeup like you'll get with fix plus sometimes it's just genius. I really, really like this. I'm not a huge fan of all Morphe products. There's some Morphe things that I really do like, but this I would buy again because I just like it for like refreshing. Do I think it makes my makeup last? No. Let's see if it claims to be a primer. No, this one really does just claim to be a setting mist. It doesn't claim to be a primer or a refresher, but I really like this for refreshing, especially I usually, right after I do all my powder products in my makeup routine. I like to go in before I finish like my eyes and just give myself a little mist and I like to grab for this. I actually totally forgot I had this because I had it in a drawer that I wasn't looking at and ever since I brought it out a couple weeks ago I've been using it a lot. So again I don't think it makes my makeup last. I don't think that it changes the like finish of my makeup. It doesn't make me dewy. It doesn't make me matte. I just really like it for more of a refresher. I mean, I really like all of these as more of a refresher because I have my Holy Grail setting spray. You guys probably know what it is. I'm going to mention it last. Um, if you guys have been with me for a while, you probably know what it is, but let's go ahead and finish the other two. I have the MAC Fix Plus. I've had this for a long time and I haven't gotten to the end of it because I just don't love it. Like, I, it's classic to me, like the smell, classic MAC smell, but I hate this applicator. It, a lot of times you get that like spit at your face and it comes in a chunk and no matter, I, I, like, I feel like no matter what bottle I get, I've purchased it so many times in my life, it always kind of spits at you and it's just uncomfortable. I wish they would come out with something like the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, but I mean, this is their signature. I do love the scent because it brings me back to my makeup days. I think that's pretty much why. And it does really do a good job at taking that powdery look down from your face. So if you're like a classic MAC person and you totally love it, you know, you'll probably stick with this. But I just think something like the F Flower Beauty, which is a lot more affordable, I grab for it way more because the mister is just so much nicer now this is definitely just marketed as a kind of like priming a prepping spray it's not meant to set your makeup so this isn't going to increase the longevity of your makeup but it does do a really good job as like a refresher and taking down that powdery look so classic but i don't find myself grabbing for it too much 
All right, the next one we have the Smashbox Primer Water Set and Refresh Spray. So this is not a setting spray once again. And this, even though Fix Plus was out a long time before this, I feel like kind of opened the doors for all of the primer waters. My cats are fighting. No, no. Don't fight. Like I was saying, this really opened the door for all of these priming sprays like the Flower and the Wet n Wild and the Catrice. I, I guess I could be wrong, maybe I just didn't know, but I think that this stuff, since it was so heavily marketed by influencers here on YouTube, so many people were open to the door of primers, even though like I said with Max, MAC Fix Plus, we were doing this years ago to prime the face and prep the face. So I don't like the sprayer on this one. Again, it's like MAC Fix Plus. It kind of spits at you sometimes. I think this smells like Windex plus perfume. Theo, it's okay. Theo. Theo. What? I totally lost track of what I was saying. Oh yeah, Windex. I think this smells like Windex plus perfume. I don't know why, but that's why I don't grab for it too often. Again, I don't think it makes like a huge difference with prepping the face. It's fine for refreshing, but again, water would be fine for refreshing my face. So I still have a lot of this. I think I went through two bottles of this already though. So I mean, I like it, but there's just so many drugstore alternatives that I grab for now. All right, and finally, my holy grail, the Scandinavia Bridal Makeup Finishing Spray. So I do believe that Scandinavia makes Urban Decay All Nighter, but this bridal version works so much better to make my makeup last than Urban Decay ever did. So that's the one that I haven't purchased in a long time, Urban Decay All Nighter. I just think, think it's way too expensive for what it is. This giant bottle I think is like $32. It's eight fluid ounces and this nothing makes my makeup last like this stuff. I'll show you the little spray. So you can see it's a very fine mist. It does not spit at my face like the Smashbox does and the Fix Plus does. It has a very, very mild scent. It smells just like Urban Decay. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that they make Urban Decay all nighter. But the second you spray it, there's no scent left over. It doesn't linger. And you can use this as a, let's see, does it market itself as a primer? No, it doesn't. It only markets itself as a setting spray. So my thought on that is kind of, they probably put a little more time and thought and ingredients into making your makeup last versus those that are also a primer and also a refresher. I mean, I don't know if that's 100% accurate. That's just my thought on something like specializing and it really does a good job. This is my by far favorite all time setting spray. I use it to refresh my makeup as well. I don't use this to really prime my skin. I've never thought of that because it doesn't market itself as a primer. But like I said, I don't go in and really spray myself with a water primer at all unless I'm doing a video. So this is just the best product to hit the market. If you are looking for anything out of all of these, get the Scandinavia. I know it's a little more expensive, but it's so worth it. And if you think about it, I bet when you break down the fluid ounces, it's probably not that much more expensive than something like the Flower or the Milani. So that is it as far as my setting sprays and what I love and everything I've tested. I feel like this is pretty much what everybody talks about on YouTube, that Catrice, Dewy setting spray got so much attention this year. I think it's $7.99 and I, th I think the price may have gone up because it was getting so much attention. I have so much setting spray on my face. I can like feel it now. I've put a little bit too much on. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you if you're looking for a setting spray. There's so many options out there. If I missed anything, let me know below what your favorite setting spray is. Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, I post every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central and every Friday at 12 noon Central. Please subscribe, it means the world to me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, bye-bye.